beautiful, what's popping, what's good. Hope everything is okay. <sighs> just came out with a little get ready with me, you know, just because I wanted to take pictures and wanted to film today. Period, we looking good, we glowing to the gods, of course. Always, if you're not glowing, you're not growing. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you made it to the outro. Bye. Starting off, we're just gonna moisturize our face. I went in with this um, serum that my little sister gave me. Um, I definitely did put it in the screen so you guys can see. Um, it was a lot of words I couldn't even. It's a miracle serum. We're gonna go with that. Then I went in with this watermelon um, moisturizer and it smells so good, y'all. When I tell y'all, it smelled like watermelon. It smelled so good. <laughs> I love it. So start off with my brows, I'm going in with the James Charles palette. I'm going in with those two brown shades that I am showing you guys almost dropped it. But I am going in with those two brown shades that I am showing you guys to do my brows. I was really trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my brows over here. But I figured I'll go with my usual to match my hair. Um, so since I did a natural slit, I went in with the brown in the front part of my brow. Here's me shading in the brown. I wanted to see if I looked right because last time I came on here with uneven eyebrows. Next, I'm going in with a nice little blue shade for the end of the eyebrow, which is the tail. Um, so crazy because I really always used to do um, two different color eyebrow, which is what you're going to see in the next clip. I'm going to do the same shade on the other side of my eyebrow as well. Honestly, I've really been loving the different color eyebrow look. I used to do it all the time with different colors, but I need to get back into that. <laughs> Next, I am going in with the Pro Concealer um, by LA Girl. Um, I got these off of Amazon. It came in a pack of different colors. I think this color is cold tan that I'm using. I use it under my brows, under my eyes, before I put on my foundation. I put it on my forehead. I normally put it on the bridge of my nose, but I guess here I did not put it on the bridge of my nose. Um, I put it on my chin. That's about it. That's all the places I know where I put it. <laughs> yeah, as you can see here, I'm getting ready to put it on my chin and my forehead which is all the places where I like to kind of highlight. And this um, concealer is not too brightening. You, you, Here, I'm going with down airspun powder to highlight the places I put concealer. I cannot fuck with you, baby. You this is my NYX Born to Glow. My foundation was in Nutmeg. I cannot fuck with you, baby. You right. You are not for me. Goodbye. You ain't shit to me. I'm back it again with the James Charles palette to contour. Um, I'm not really a pro at contouring, honestly. I just do whatever. <laughs> I cannot fuck with you, baby. You right. You are not for me. Goodbye. You ain't shit to me. Shit to me. You ain't. Next, I'm going in with some liquid liner by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I was really struggling with this eyeliner today, especially on the other side of my eye. So mad. <laughs> um, I think you guys are going to see it. Or did I delete the clip? I might have deleted the clip, but I was really struggling with this eye right here. Um, we're just going to fast forward. Just don't say. Here, I went in with my um, blush by Oprah. I got it from beauty school when I was in cosmetology school. Um, I went to Empire. I've been trying in vain to hold on. No matter what I say, keeping you close shouldn't be hard. If you were honest when you said you missed me You played with my pride Making me feel like we had something real And making you stay Should've Next I'm going in with some little old concealer that I bought from Primark Um, nothing too big 
Yeah, I got these eyelashes from AliExpress. I don't care what nobody say. I know AliExpress takes forever with shipping, but these were worth the wait. Okay, I know I can get them from somewhere else, but they were cheap and they they are pretty. Both colors comes in different styles, and I really do like that. That's my lash glue, and here I'm going in with my Oprah brush palette that I got from school once again. But um, I'm going with it under my eye. But girl, get into these lashes, okay? Next, I'm going in with that same eyeliner, and I'm just doing my inner corner. I think they call it a cat eye. I'd be forgetting. I'd just be doing it for fun, but um, I really love that look. I feel like it ties the whole eye together. Next, I'm going in with my Primark Mascara to do my bottom lashes. I felt like it needed to be more dramatic, even though I barely have any. But I love it. Now, I don't know if this makeup thing is old, but I got it a long time ago. And it's from the Makeup Yourself. I can't even tell you what color it was in because the pack... The packaging was messed up. I had it for years now, but I love it. Sorry, but do y'all see that glow or is it just me? Like, I feel like this highlight is good for like everyday wear. I'm just saying. I cannot fuck with you, baby. You right. You wanna for me goodbye. No way, shape, or form professional when it comes to wigs, but I'm using my edge booster and it smelled really good. Also, I got it from my local beauty supply store. Y'all cop one because that don't smell good. Here I'm just doing my lip. I didn't show you, but I'm still using the James Charles palette and the shade I use for my eyebrows. I'm going in with my lip now. My lip did not want to act like lips today, so I struggled. <laughs> Don't know the shade this lip gloss is in. I'm sorry. I got it from Primark. I used to work there. Um, but this is the last step. Here is the final look. Hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye. I was there when